Okay, this is a, how to do an MRI of the liver, otherwise known as a multi-phase liver. Uh, this video is going to teach you how to uh, set it up and scan. One thing you have to do is give the patient an IV. There is a video on that already, so we're not going to go through that whole thing. What you're going to need is you're going to need a 50cc syringe of saline and a 30cc syringe of gadolinium. We're going to put these into our power injector. This particular power injector, this model works this way, yours might be different. You'll notice that we have uh, these are connected by a Y tubing. On this side of the Y tubing, there is a one-way valve. The one-way valve goes on the contrast side. The contrast side is where the one-way valve goes. Okay. Now that comes down to here. You want to flip it up and get and use your controls to get all the air out of the tubing. You're going to see all the air come out of here. And we take this and go into the trash can and flush all the air out. Once all the air is out, you want to put it this way so the bubbles go to the top so you don't inject air into your patient. And we rest this like so. We're going to take our patient and we're going to have him put his arms up. And we want to use the respiratory bellows. So we're going to fish this underneath the patient and the bellows lay across. So we tell the patient, take a deep breath, and you notice if he's a stomach breather or a chest breather. If he's a stomach breather, you wrap it around his stomach. If he's a chest breather, you wrap it around his chest. If you're not sure, you can do it diagonally, okay? And this particular model MRI, when, when, it, when it's done properly, you will see the picture of the lungs here, and this is the gauge to tell you if your bellows are working. If they're working okay, we want to put the, the coil on the patient. Here's the trick. The, the liver is not in this stomach. The liver is under the ribs. It's on the patient's right hand side under the ribs. It covers an area from about where the nipple is to the bottom of the rib cage. That's here. And you'll notice it's here. It's not in the stomach. It's, it's up where the chest is. So on our patient, the nipple line is here, that means the liver is, sits right here. This is where we want the center of our uh, coil to be or very close to it. Notice, this is his stomach. We are not scanning his stomach, we're scanning the liver which is up higher. So the, so the coil needs to come to about where the armpit is. Very important. Once you get your coil set up, Notice I have not attached the IV line yet because he's too far out right now. So we're going to bring him in. We're going to get about this far. Now we attach our IV line. Again, making sure there's no air in the tubing. Going to attach it like so. One thing you can do is feed it through his hand. This way it doesn't pull out if there's any tension on the line. You can take your power injector and aim it like this because he's going to go in the magnet. You want enough slack here to be able to feed it in. We're going to landmark at the liver. The, the coil is not going to be centered over the liver, so we want the landmark at the liver, which is above the center of the coil, and send him on his way. Now we'll go to the control center. Once you're at the console, we're going to set up for a liver here. Now, your liver might be labeled something different. In this case, this is our multi-phase liver. It's also known as lava on this particular machine. So we're going to run our three-plane loc. While our three-plane loc is running, we're going to set up our uh, power injector. Now, for a liver, 
we want to flow all, all of the contrast at once. We want to do it at a pretty high rate. In this case, it's three milliliters per second. We can change that here to whatever we want. But in this case, we want to do it about three. If the patient has weak veins, you can get it down to 2.5. But I wouldn't go any lower than that. Now, A is our contrast side. B is our saline side. Saline, it doesn't have to push so hard. Um, it can be done at two or below. It just cleans the line and the vein out going to the heart and gives the patient a little extra hydration. And you, you only need about maybe 25 or 30 cc's of saline, uh, not too much. Okay, and that's how you set up the power injector. Don't forget to enable it. And have we checked, get all the air out? Yes, okay. Okay, so now we're setting up for our calibration. Notice the liver is now in the center of where the coil is. The coil is extending from here to here on this particular patient. So here's the liver here. And yeah, you've got a better view of that. This is our calibration scan. It's just going to cover the entire abdomen area. All right. Now, we're going to run an axial. This is a single slab fast spin echo. You would normally run one of those. Uh, it's a T2 weighted uh, gradient. Here's another T2 weighted gradient for coronal. You have a, an axial in and out of phase. In this case, we run a 3D in and out of phase. And just for the liver, I run a T2 fat suppressed. It's going to show any lesions in the liver really, really well. And it's also an axial. So all of these axials are going to be planned the same. The, again, just over the liver. You see, in this case, here's the liver. You can see it here, really nice. So you want to make sure that the ends of your field of view or the beginning and end of your... Uh, area of interest, your slices are going to be covering the liver. Um, it, we're not really interested in anything else in this scan. Um, this is a 3D, so it's a slab. If you're going to do a... Uh, here is how I would plan slices. So you're just covering the liver. That's all we're concerned with. If you can use a rectangular field of view, if your patient is thin enough, I would recommend it. It saves you a ton of time. And here's, we're going to run the lava. Now, another, it's, a, it's like a 3D scan. You'll notice it's just over the liver. We're going to use a rectangular field of view. Uh, in this case, it doesn't have to be so big. And this is how you would plan it. Um, you would, the coronal uh, T2 single slab that we did, we would be able to see the entire liver. In this case, our three-plane look gave us a really good view of it. Um, but uh, this, this is what I would run if this was a real patient. Okay, so now we're in our lava, uh, multi-phase liver. We're gonna close our graphics. Now, in this case, we have a multi-phase screen here. Um, if you need to adjust your multi-phase or you need to fix it per the doctor's protocol, this is what you would click. Now, in this particular, here at this site, we do four phases. We do a zero phase. We do a 21 second phase, is also known as the arterial phase. We do a uh, 43 second phase, which is like the venous phase. And then we do a five minute um, uh, phase four. It's about five minutes. Uh, this, in this case, 436. And it lets all the contrast wash out of the liver so we can see if any lesions are holding onto the contrast. Okay, so this is how we do ours here. Some places do six phases, some places only do three phases. Uh, we do four here. If you need to make any of these changes, then you would just highlight the box, make your change, and hit enter. Okay, just like this. All right. Um, in this case, we want our patient to hold their breath. So this, this box is going to tell us if the patient is going to, if the machine is going to give them the auto voice to hold their breath. So now that it's on, it's on for all of these, um, if you want to add or remove phases, you would use this box here. You can see you can go up to 10 phases. We could probably go 15 if we want to. We can go 
20 if we want to, but in our case, we only need four. All right. Um, you can accept that. And you can adjust your phase and frequency, anything you want to do. Uh, save. Oh, um, if you need to change your auto voice, if you want to put it in Spanish, you want to put it in um, Japanese, uh, whatever it is, this is it. These, these scans, these lava, uh, lava scans, multi-phase scans, are only 15 seconds long. So you don't need an inspiration. You don't need to go inspiration. You can go just suspension. Suspension will tell the patient, hold your breath. It's not going to um, tell them to breathe in and hold, just hold their breath. So this is the best one to use in this case. Um, um, another thing is you want to turn on your gating control, your respiratory control. Some of your sequences you might have to respiratory gate because the patient can't hold their breath well. And this is going to show the waveform if they're holding their breath or not. Um, we save, download, and we'll scan this. Now, pay close attention. Let me turn up the auto voice so you can hear it. And it's saying to prep scan it. You don't want to go straight to scan because we need to time our contrast injection with the scanner. Now again, we're going to do a zero minute and then a 21 second. So what you want to do is you want to hit this button and this button at the same time. Before you do anything, you need to make sure that your injector is ready. You don't want to hit this button start and the injector doesn't work and you're delayed on your injection. But once it, once everything's set up, everything's good, you hit them both at the same time. And it told the patient to hold their breath. The patient is holding their breath. You see here they breathed in, they're holding their breath. Here's your countdown clock and it's telling you that you're in phase one of four. That's telling them to breathe. It's going to tell them immediately to hold their breath again. And you will see in this phase there's no contrast in the liver. In the next phase you would normally see the contrast just starting to fill with liver. And that's the, the phase that's showing contrast. And, and here's the third phase. You'll notice there's not a lot of time in between these. The liver is very vascular. The, the contrast goes in and out very quickly. That's our third phase. Now we have a delay of about 3 minutes and 34 seconds. After the end of that delay, it will scan the last phase, and you're done.